What's up guys, this is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to do a gaming performance test of OnePlus 12 by playing few of the most high and heavy graphics game on the highest possible graphics setting. We will also monitor the battery performance and whether we are going to face any hitting issue or not. But before we start, if you are new to this channel then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads. So for this testing purpose, we have set the screen refresh rate to 120Hz, the battery percentage is 97 and we have selected the high performance mode in the battery setting to get the best performance out of the device. And to play all of these games, we will use the games app that we got on OnePlus 12. So these are the games we got today here on our device. So first of all, let's start with Injustice 2. So here in the games widget, you can see we have selected the Pro Gamer mode and right now the temperature is 30 degrees Celsius. So the graphics quality is brilliant. Lots of detail in everything. If you have a look on the costume of the characters, the reflection of the light and all these things, very impressive. And as you can see here, we are getting 60 FPS while playing Injustice 2 on OnePlus 12. So the Injustice 2 is of course is not fully compatible yet with our device because the Injustice 2 can go as high as 120 FPS easily. But as you can see the graphics quality is brilliant, gameplay is super smooth and there is no frame drop or lagging of any kind. So everything was nice and smooth while playing Injustice 2 on OnePlus 12. It's just that we are getting only 60 FPS, but hopefully with an update, the Injustice 2 will be fully compatible with OnePlus 12. So let's go back from here. Let's close Injustice 2. And now let's play Call of Duty Mobile. So here in the graphics setting of Call of Duty Mobile, you can see by default, very high is selected for graphics and max for the frame rate. If I select max graphics quality then max frame rate is still available if i select the ultra frame rate then the graphics quality is going to medium so i will first play the game on max frame rate with max graphics quality and after that i will have a quick look on ultra frame rate setting as well and as you can see we have also downloaded the hd resource pack to get the best graphics quality so the graphics quality is brilliant if you have a look on the gun you can see the details we are getting, the reflection of the light from the gun, how smooth is the gameplay, the scope and everything, lots of detail. If you have a look on the ground, once again, you can see how much detail we are getting, the cracks on the ground and everything, the shadowing effect, the wrinkles on the fabric, just too good. Contact with enemy. 
and as you can see we are getting 60 fps here on the max frame rate and max graphics quality not bad at all and the gameplay is very smooth as you can see and great amount of detail we are getting very impressive So there is no frame drop, no lagging, everything is nice and smooth. no frame drop no lagging everything is nice and smooth the gameplay is super smooth as you can see here graphics quality is great and we are getting constantly 60 fps
So there was no frame drop, no lagging, everything was nice and smooth and we were constantly getting 60 FPS while playing Call of Duty Mobile on OnePlus 12. Now I'm going to select the ultra frame rate with medium graphics and let's see how much FPS we are going to get. So now you can see that we are getting 120 FPS here on Call of Duty Mobile. So the game is fully compatible with 120 FPS mode. You just have to go with the right setting. And once again you can see that the graphics detail we are getting even on medium graphics is pretty impressive lots of details the shadowing effect you can see how smooth is the gameplay so this is really impressive for sure so i'm just going to leave it here let's close it and now let's play asphalt 9 so here in the graphic setting of asphalt 9 you can see we have selected the high quality and 60 fps mode is enabled as well so let's play the game and let's see how good the gameplay is going to be so the graphics quality is once again very impressive if you have a look on the crown the texture we are getting on the cracks and everything very nice also the reflection of the light from the paint job of the body of the cars so good The graphics quality is brilliant, very impressive, gameplay is super smooth as well as you can see here. So of course we are getting 60 FPS, we are playing this on OnePlus 12, the device that comes with Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, the most powerful processor currently available in the market for Android smartphones. As you can see, no frame drop or lagging is happening. Everything is nice and smooth. So let's close Asphalt 9 and now let's play the Dead Trigger 2. So here in the graphic setting of Dead Trigger 2 you can see high graphics quality selected with 60 FPS mode. There is no 120 FPS available even if I go to the low graphics quality. So once again the Dead Trigger 2 is not fully compatible with OnePlus 12 yet because the Dead Trigger 2 can go as high as 120 FPS. Once again you can see how much we are getting when it comes to graphics quality is really brilliant.
and here we go so i'm just gonna leave it here if you play dead trigger 2 you should be getting the idea about the gaming capability of the device but as you can see still the 120 fps mode is not available but the graphics quality was great and the gameplay was pretty smooth at 60 fps now it's time to play the last game for today and that's pubg mobile so here in the graphics setting of pubg mobile you can see by default hd graphics and high frame rate is selected i can select hdr with ultra frame rate ultra hdr if i'm selecting then the maximum frame rate is ultra if i'm going to hdr then i can select extreme as well so the maximum possible graphics setting is hdr with extreme or ultra hdr with ultra if i'm going to smooth then 90 fps mode is getting enabled as well so i will first play the game on ultra hdr with ultra frame rate and then with smooth graphics at 90 fps mode to see whether we are going to get 90 fps or not so here you can see that we are getting great amount of details if you have a look on the ground here too much detail we are getting the texture the cracks on the ground shadowing effect the reflection of the light from the costume of the character from the shoulder pad and the back it's so good and we are getting 40 fps here as you can see once again if you have a look on these wheels here too much detail
And here we go. So as you could see, the graphics quality was brilliant and we were constantly getting 40 FPS. So now I'm going to change the graphics setting to 90 FPS mode and let's see how much FPS we are going to get. So now you can see that the gameplay is very smooth as we are playing it on the 90 FPS mode. And as you can see, we are getting 90 FPS here. So this is quite nice that the game is fully supporting 90 FPS mode here. You just have to go with the right setting just like the Call of Duty Mobile. And here we go, winner, winner, chicken dinner. You're the best. So now if you have a look on the battery status, so after playing all of these games for nearly 1 hour 30 minutes, the battery percentage moved from 97 to 79. So considering the fact that we were playing all of these games on the highest possible graphics setting, the battery performance seems quite nice for sure. And the temperature is 39 degrees Celsius, so the device is not hot at all. It is slightly warm for sure here at the bottom if I touch the back panel feels slightly warm but maybe it's because of the playing all of these games for continuously one and a half hours but there is no heating issue for sure as there is no throttling or any kind of frame drop that we have faced because of the heating so if you are a gamer you will be happy with the performance of oneplus 12 for sure as it comes with the best and latest hardware specs that you can get on any android smartphone it's just that some of the games like Injustice 2, Dead Trigger 2, etc. are not fully compatible and you will get only 60 FPS instead of 120 FPS. But other than that, everything about the gaming capability of OnePlus 12 is super impressive. So that's all for now friends. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful, then give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads. And I will see you guys next time in another video. Have a nice day.